I got to hear about that story. What's up, everybody? Uh, I'm Sal Kalani. This is Reggie Steele. And welcome to Spitballing. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> no. <clears throat> um, so, yeah, I was just telling Sal, I read an article about a kid flying from New York to India, 21-year-old dude sitting in business class. Um, business so class? Business class. And those tickets on American Airlines, those tickets run roughly $6,300. Um, so it's not cheap. It's a long flight, 14 and a half hours, almost 15 hours, 14 hours and 50 something minutes. Um, dude, so drunk that he peed. He was being disruptive, but he urinated on the, the guy sitting next to him. Ah, dude. Yeah, what man. I don't know. I don't know. Can be me. Can be me. Yeah. I can't say anything because I'm not trying to be a cancel <laughs> on this podcast, but. <clears throat> I feel like this. The, the least of his troubles would have been getting arrested when he uh when they landed. So right? so he passed the, out and peed on him from nah, being he didn't too pass drunk. Out. He was he was being disruptive and got mad and weren't listening to the crews and and they didn't say exactly what led up to it. They just said that he, after being disruptive and not listening to the crews and and not responding, then he basically got up, pulled out his Johnson and and released on the passenger sitting next to him. And now they're talking about he uh, he got arrested. He's looking at a hefty fine. He goes to school in the U.S., so he's potentially looking at losing his student visa. Um, oh yeah, man, toss him, dude. Yeah, toss and he's oh he's and he's been banned from American Airlines. Oh um, yeah, because dude, that's like you can't. That's like assault. You, you don't know what that guy's got, and you put urine on another person. You can't do that. And exposing do. yourself. Hey man, all I'm saying is that when they would have got him, when they got him off the plane, when they got him off the plane, they wouldn't have been able to take him to jail right away. They would have to take his ass to the hospital. <laughs> Cause I would have beat the dog shit out of this dude, bro. I'm telling you, drunk or not, you, there's no way you release yourself on me. Oh yo, hell, yo, man. yo! I got hell a friend no. who got, I got a friend who got peed on, dude. <laughs> what you mean? <laughs> so we were at, we were always like in Ohio, we'd like party at this this guy's house they're a little uh, this couple the guy was a little they're a little older than us you know so when you say party did you mean party no no party. just drink just drink oh, okay okay maybe weed but mainly just drink right oh, and dude, then this is sign language real quick you mean party or yeah well reggie was touching party? his nose you forget what? we're on a podcast right? party? you still got to talk oh that's right okay i'm you sorry describe so, better so for the audience who's not watching when i said party i pointed to my nose and then I said, or, and then I act like I was drinking something. And then I put my fingers together and act like I was smoking something. Because apparently those are, the, those are the, and then, and the last one is like, you mean party? Right? Like, yeah, I'm it's like, like I'm dancing. Or is it like, I like, party? I like how you think we got like uh, cocaine coming in, in the suburbs of Cleveland, Ohio. Just, <laughs> hey man, if cocaine can make its way to the, the deepest, darkest, I mean, it can make America, it there, but our broke asses wasn't getting it. <laughs> Dude, where do you think crack comes from? It comes from cocaine, bro. Right, right. Right. But so co- crack mainly, was everywhere. Yeah, it was shit beer we were drinking and okay. maybe some shit weed. We used to call it Cleveland downtown brown because it was terrible. <laughs> brown <laughs> shit weed. But that didn't stop you guys from smoking it. <laughs> Hell no. So <laughs> that's that's like, oh God, this is terrible. Yo, you want to hit me this? more? You want to hit this? <laughs> so okay, go ahead. So you guys are so, partying, drunk. Oh yeah. So, uh, my one buddy, he passes out a lot when he drinks. Is this a racist? Went, no, no. Okay. I don't want to, I don't want to, I don't want to say who it is yet. I don't okay. want to blast okay. him because it's not, he doesn't look good in it. Oh, uh, okay. Okay. Go ahead. <laughs> All right. Tell the story. So I don't know what happened. I was, I don't even think I, I think I was there, but then I left, but whatever. And he went up to the bathroom and I don't know if he threw up or what, but he like eventually used the bathroom. And then he fell. He passed out, dude. He passed out on the bathroom floor. And then the older guy who had a mullet, he was Eek. like, because we're all like in our early 20s. And this guy's probably like 30. And uh, so we just stayed at his place. 
Why is a party year old partying with 20 year olds? I know, but we didn't have any. Uh, and, and for us, it was like, okay, all of us were still with our parents and shit or in college. So we were like, oh, well, this is the place to hang then. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, he went up there and went to the bathroom and he saw that this guy passed out on the floor and he peed on him. When he deliberately did it, he did it on purpose. Yeah. And then, oh God. and then Marty didn't even wake up. <laughs> Oh, dude. And so then he wakes up like hours later, I don't know, like five in the morning. He's all wet and stinky and he doesn't understand why. Oh, dude. <laughs> and then this I don't is, know. This when, is an awful story, by the way. Yeah, I don't know when he found out if he told him then or what, but he eventually found out he's really mad at him. And then, but, but he's still, yeah, I was still hung out with him. I mean, he's not friends with them. I mean, we kind of, they, you know, we we are not really friends with that dude. I always gotten fight like arguments with him, so we're not friends with him anymore. But uh, yeah, I don't know. I he still hung out with him for a little bit, I think. But yeah, that definitely put a damper, pun intended, on the relationship. <laughs> <laughs> you damn right. There's no way. There's no way. Yeah, dude, that's foul as fuck. Hell yeah. There's no way. The disrespect. The Oof. disrespect, dude. I. I yeah, yeah, yeah I right. Even... Yeah, that's... why is why is like respect such a big thing to some dudes? Like to me, like I want to fight because if I feel disrespected, it's ugh, why is that such a thing? Because the Italians, <laughs> that's why. Like, I, you know, but even just now about this thing, you know, you you feel it like you're like I'd have to beat the shit out of that guy before he gets off the plate. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, no. Nah. But yeah, <laughs> well, you know, it's just because the thing is, I think when it comes to respect, if you don't respect someone, then you feel like there's a sense that you can do and say whatever you want to them regardless of mm-hmm. how it will impact them in their lives, mm-hmm. right? Um, I think I think a lack of respect for people can easily lead to dehumanizing and demeaning and, you know, eventually hurting, right? Or taking right. away or hindering someone's ability to to live, if not killing them, right? Mm-hmm. So uh, so that's what that's what disrespect is about. It's about, yo, man, you you really, because think about it. If you if you have the nerve and the audacity to piss on a guy, let's not, I'm not going to say urinate or pee. I'm going to say piss, right? To piss on a dude. And then you don't get your ass beat. Then what prevents that guy from coming up next time he sees you and you're eating and he just goes, shut up, give me your sandwich. Right. It takes your sandwich, it takes your soda or your water or whatever. Right. And then he comes over to your place. He's like, yo, I need somewhere to stay. He already peed on you. He already <laughs> took your food. Why not just come over and be like, yo, I need somewhere to stay. And he, he moves in. He sleeps on the couch for a night. And he goes, yo, man, this couch is crummy. I need the bed. And he takes and your bed. And then he shits in your bed. And then he Like shits Amanda Hurt. <laughs> then he shits in your bed. Or better yet, he just kicks you out of your own place. And he's like, yo, I need, I need this place. So I need you to keep paying this rent while I live here. You know what I mean? Like it can escalate. So, yeah, 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 yeah. So you yeah, gotta so, cut it off at the right at the start. Yo, man, you gotta pull it from the root. You gotta get rid of it. It's like a weed, man. If you don't take care of it, it'll keep coming back. So All right, well, I got a that's this is good because it leads to a di- I got a disrespectful story. I got disrespected in Sacramento this weekend, bro. Oh, what happened? But first, well, yeah, I'll tell you. First, let's get to uh let's get to it, buddy. I'm sorry to hear that, man. That sucks. Well, it wasn't that bad. Okay. Like by who? Was it the crowd or by the opener? One person, uh, and the, uh, an audience member. But I wrote up in style. Look at this Dodge Challenger, dude. I wrote up in there, dude. Nice. Fucking this thing. Now look, I I just rented the, uh, I just rented Economy. But they're like, yo, you want to take the Challenger? And I'm like, I don't know about that gas money, bro. And he's like, well, uh, he's like, it's a V6, whatever. No, dude, this shit guzzles gas like crazy. Hell right? yeah, that's a muscle car. That but I'm like, look, for road trips. It's one time I'm going to sack. It's one I'm not driving much once I'm there, and then I'm driving back. You know what right, I mean? But right. I, but I was like, yo, I'm gonna come back next month. I can't get this car, dude. <laughs> I told him this morning. I'm like, uh, uh-uh. but it was fun because if so you didn't want, make any money this week, folks. Paying for gas. Uh, that, yeah, dude, the gas. Oof. Like you you sell the t-shirts and like all this went into the gas tank. Motherfucker, yep. dude. Yep. But um, but I will say what's fun about it is like if you're on the highway, especially the five, it's just a long, boring two-lane drive, but you're like, yo, I want to go there in front of that car. Boom, I'm there. <laughs> yeah, exactly. 
dude, this mm-hmm. shit. Oh man, it it was fun. And then what's the problem is too, you can go and you don't even realize how fast you're going. And then yeah. you're like, I was like, no, I was like, that's the first thing I asked the guy because there's I had a choice, white or red. I'm like, give me the white. I'm like, yeah, I don't, don't need any more attention. You'd have got a ticket on the fire yeah. for sure. And then I was like, how's the cruise control? Has it got it? <laughs> yeah, because you got locked that in. Lock that in at like 78, 79. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was in, exactly. I was in that range. I didn't crack 80. <laughs> no, don't crack 80, bro. Although the speed on the, on the five is 70. 70, so but yeah. Yeah, and some people, but yeah. And then so, sometimes like somebody's trying to get around and pass me. I'm like, now nah, I feel like you're going to pass me. <laughs> <laughs> You row, you like own the row. Like I get it, man. It feels like the ads five inches to your dick. I Dude, get it, muscle car fans. You just explained everyone's driving experience in one moment. <laughs> you trying to get by? No, I don't think so. What year was that? what year was that white? I think it's brand car? new. I think it's twenty twenty three. Twenty two. I believe. Okay. Okay. Uh, but they, they, well, I will say in the very beginning it was kind of really dry because there, you know, the snow. There was snow on the grapevine. So uh, when you drive up, this was first, I want to show you this picture I took of, I thought it was kind of cool. You see the palm tree and then you see the snow capped mountains in the background. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty, that's pretty gnarly, right? That's pretty crazy to see. You feel like those are yeah. two things that are just uh, totally are opposite. opposite. Yeah, totally yeah, you opposite. never see that together. And yeah. then I saw another one and I, I put these both on Instagram because, you know, I'm, I'm a fan of the nature. I don't like to take a pretty picture. Uh <laughs> nature. Here, here's these uh, yellow flowers blooming, and then again, snow-capped mountains in the background. Yeah, yeah, you're you're pretty cool. <laughs> you're a sensitive guy, so I like it. Ah, uh, get out of here! I, it's I, like, it's, look it's at the too flowers, much beauty in the world. The no, but it, you never see no. it. No, you're but, right. yo, here's, but this is what this is cool. This is what the grapevine looked like, and look at this shit. I thought I was driving into Washington State. Wow, <laughs> big snow all over the mountain, man. Yo, I feel like I've seen the. I've, I feel like I've driven through that before, once before, several years ago. Kind of, yeah, not maybe crazy. not as heavy as that, but that is a pretty awesome backdrop, though. That kind of looks like the Rockies if they were a little bit bigger. I know, right? Yeah, it looks right? like the Rocky Mountains of Colorado. Yeah, kind of cool. Um, well, shit, I remember I did uh, Canada, uh, Edmonton, right? Mm-hmm. And um, I should say I don't know where the picture is right now, <laughs> but this was one that it was so cool. So like. We're in Alberta and the guy's driving me, we, you know, I do them in the city. I do some shows, but then we did some shows outside the city. So you're, you know, about an hour, sometimes two hours outside. Mm-hmm. And so you go and we went out West towards one gig and uh, it was right at the start of the Rocky mountains oh, of wow. Canada. So I went up and you saw literally the first mountain and then, and, and then you look out. And bro, it's like the the because at first I didn't even notice it, and then you really look in the horizon. There's just mountains. That's all wow. you see are mountains. Wow. And I was like, "That's pretty cool." Yeah, it yeah. was yeah. so beautiful, and um, yeah, man, it's it just it's so vast, it's so different. You know what I mean? Like, it, mm-hmm. it got, it, it you know, it's just nature, really, dude. Yeah, it's nature. <laughs> it's it's like it's um, it's astonishing, astonishing, and then stunning, yeah. and then mm-hmm. beautiful and amazing. And then it makes you feel small, right? You go, wow, I'm like, I'm yeah. really tiny compared to right. like. Oh, wait, you know what? I might oh. have it here. Let me see. I might have a video I could show you real quick. If I can. Uh... I do. I do have a video here, Reggie. Okay. All right. So let's set it up. For so all the listeners, you're going to have to go online to watch. Yeah, man. We're, we're big into the YouTube now, I guess, man. If you want, you want everything. Yeah, you gotta see us, especially like, especially <laughs> Sal. Look at him. <laughs> what a sexy guy. <laughs> That's uh, half you know of the podcast. Just, just looking at how out. interesting you are. Like I just gotta figure out how the hell they interesting. Look. <laughs> it is funny. Like somebody was ripping on us about you know being out of touch Gen Xers or whatever, and I'm over here trying to figure out the fucking. <laughs> Someone said we're out of touch Gen Xers. Kids don't need to know how to spell. I uh, yeah, I know. Okay, so what can you see this right now? Yes. Okay. You see this? Okay, here it is. So if I play the video, you could watch it. Uh yes. See, that's the first mountain. And then you look out and you're like, okay, whatever. And then look, it's all mountains out there. Oh yeah. Yeah. Wow, that's impressive, man. It it was it was really, yeah, man. And see, those Rockies, are the kind of trees that are level. usually. Those are the kind of trees that are usually around mountains, not palm trees. 
<laughs> right. Oh, yeah. Right. 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 Those co- the 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 pine trees. That's all that could survive in that cold ass weather, man. <laughs> Sack town, bring it, baby. So I love. Yeah. So uh, what happened in Sacramento this week? Who are you working? Sacramento is awesome, man. Esther. Sa- Sa- I love Esther Steinberg, Jewish mom, uh, originally from Tampa, then was in New York, and now is in L.A. Okay, and uh, what is she? What is she known for? Like, why she just she had a lineup? special come out on. Um, she just had a, a special come out and a video, and then she also has an album out. So, but it was her first time headlining it, and um, okay. yeah, man, she's funny. It was cool. She had a she had a little crowd. She had some followers, and um, you know, people were cool. And uh, I was selling some shirts, and uh, it was awesome. It was awesome. Okay. We I love Sacramento, man. Sacramento is one of uh, they're just a little more um. They're a little more looser than uh, SF, I feel. Yes, comparing the absolutely. two clubs, I mean, and you on, could man. really rip, you know, and you could you could get a little. Uh, you don't have to, you know. But sometimes it it it, it could because there were a couple nights where some you could tell there's some Trumpers or somebody, you know. You oh, still get boy. that out in this in NorCal, but one of the shows, a Friday show, some there, you know, and yo man. I try and be open minded, Reg. Try not to be sexist. Okay. <laughs> well, a lot okay. of times it's drunk women. <laughs> oh, jeez. Well, you know, they already. No, nah, I'm not going to get into it. Go yeah. Ahead, What's that, Reg? What's that? Nothing. Nothing. I'm not they already that what? It, it's Sac- I know Sacramento, bro. So I'm going to say, <laughs> I'll say it's Sacramento, right? Which is, let's be honest, it's a cow town. And uh, it's it's white women. Mm-hmm. And it's alcohol. <laughs> they just make for that combination. You get those three Ooh, together. It's, it's just, poison. It's just a bad. It's just a bad experience, bro. That's so I, I don't even remember. I don't know. If it was the first show Friday. I think it was the first show Friday. Okay. Oh, wow. And first uh, show Friday. Really? Yeah, it wasn't the late show. show. It was the first. She started show. early, huh? She was pre-gaming. Pre-gaming. She was in the car, oh. in the car like this. Got a little flask. And there were some people that were chatty, you know. I did my thing and they were chatty, but I was just kind of like it was chatty, but not chatty enough that uh mm. I, you want to stop it. And I was just yeah. like, you know what? I'm just gonna get through my thing. You know, I might have made a reference once or twice, but then you know that was it. And then the uh host even got up and he like he kind of was like, Yeah, everyone be cool, here we go. You know what I mean? Trying to was, mellow him out host? for a second. Um uh, you put me on this all this uh, uh on blast right now, getting all the details. Janesh, you know him? He's an Indian comic and he's really fun. He's cool. So he okay. tries to calm him down and uh then brings up the headline. She's doing her thing. So I guess at some time the uh, I guess these women walk out, right? Okay. Now uh and I was setting up oh, my wait, shirts. the group of women walked out during the headliner set because did the staff get on them? The staff I don't, I don't know if the staff got them. I was so there's the thing. I went out in the hall to set up my shirts, right? Okay. Okay. <laughs> this is before they came. Now, now I don't know what of the I don't know if this woman came and I don't know if she was part of the group or I, I kind of feel like there was a few of them and they went out in, in different bunches, you know what I mean? Okay. Okay. Not all together. It was like yeah, stragglers, staggered. bathroom, yeah. pay the check, drink. You know what I mean? So right. I don't know. All I know is I'm setting up my shirts. <laughs> oh boy. Here we go. <laughs> and these two women come out and though and I walk by. Oh no, I wasn't even I was just walking by her. I wasn't even setting up. I was walking by and she walks by and her friend and with a friend and the one who walks by just staring at me. You can see you got that drunken look in the eye, dude. Like you I bet said. they were from Roseville. <laughs> I bet they were from, from Roseville. You bring that combo though, you know. You bring yeah. the cow town and the booze and the lady drinking. So then uh yeah, dude, she walks by, just looks at me and she goes, You're stupid as fuck. <laughs> Jeez, really? <laughs> and I just wow. go, excuse me? And yeah. then she goes, without even hesitation, she goes, You're stupid as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Does it again? And a friend just like kind of looking at her, kind of giggly a little. And then I go, "Well, you don't look too bright yourself." <laughs> <laughs> Once you, I'm gonna tell you right now, the fact that you didn't slap her because that's probably what she was expecting. Because I'm sure at home, that's what that's that's what comes <laughs> next. Right? Unfortunately, and I'm not making fun of uh, domestic. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, man. I don't. I just like, and I just like, what the hell was that? And I just walked off, and it was like. 
but that really pissed me off. I was like, how disrespectful, man. Yeah. I was so mad. And then like, and then like, uh, it was like, fine then. And then afterwards, and that was show I that was the show I did the best in sales. You know what I mean? And mm. so it was like people really loved me. So it was kind of like it's annoying that yeah. you know like everybody can like it, but then these one little poison f- apple in the fucking bushel, yeah, <laughs> makes it all shitty. And I even remember the headline uh, Esther said something like uh, about referencing how they're all out now they're gone, and the crowd went crazy. They were so happy that those fucking. You know, those poison Dang, idiots see, gotta ruin probably, it for everybody. They should have gotten thrown out sooner. How many of them were there? I uh, see that's the thing. I think four to six. Jeez, a big group. All of women, women, you know. Drunk. See, they don't Le- understand what a comedy leather is. ass skin. <laughs> oh, jeez. Ugh. Ugh. You know what though? Um, man, I'm sorry that happened, dude. That sucks. Cause that's a transference of energy, right? Like they're they're putting their yeah, and then to say it again without even hesitation, I'm like, yeah. cold blooded, dude. But she's drunk, you know. what I mean, Ugh. she's drunk, and Ugh. it's just stuff like that. You gotta let it, you gotta Ugh. be a duck, bro. You gotta let it just like water. Exactly and that, and that was the thing. And then and and once I once I I did well in t-shirts, that made me feel better. <laughs> <laughs> dude, that really yeah, sucks. Man. People, so people, people out there, don't do that. Don't they, do they, that. You don't even know me. What did I? And I maybe I and I was it. You know, I don't know. Because, you know, maybe I did a Trump joke she didn't like. I only have, like, one or two now. It's not even like I'm even, you know, I'm not going up there really hey, dude, <laughs> talking about Don't even try to shit. rationalize it. Don't even try to rationalize <laughs> it. She was drunk, bro. Like, she don't even know what was going on. She probably didn't even know that she said that. You know what I mean? Man, that is, so, uh, yeah. So, yeah, yeah that's, dude, that's a little town, bring it. <laughs> but I wonder, I wonder, does she, if I'm setting up outside, does she say that to me? Does she say that to... I don't yeah. know somebody else. I don't know. Makes me think of Chris Rock's set, Selective Outrage. Did you already watch it? Yeah, I watched it twice already. Jesus, I haven't seen it yet, so I don't want to hear anything. Keep okay. it on the hush. Did you okay. watch it live? I tried to. I tried to watch it live, and I totally forgot to set my my clock to it, and it kind of dawned on me, and I was like, oh, because it started at seven, and I checked at eight, and it was over. So I got to see the after show where they had. Mm. Uh, they had Arsenio Hall, Dana Carvey, um, David Spade, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, J.B. Smooth, and one other actress, a female actress, actress slash comedian. She was on the sh- she was on the show um, Insecure. She played um, the leads, Issa Rae's uh, best friend, the lawyer. I can't think of her name though. And they talked about the special. And so I kind of watched okay. a little bit of that, but then I stopped because I was like, I didn't, I didn't want them to give away any jokes or whatever. You know what I mean? Right, right. But it was, right. it was authentic Chris Rock, and uh, I thought it was good. The second time it was better. I thought I told you I don't want to hear anything. I'm not saying anything. I'm just saying I'm talking <laughs> about the. I'm just saying that I enjoyed it. <sighs> and it's, it's an hour long, and if I cut it into, all right, I won't say anything else. All right, shut shit. All right, so here we go, Reg. Last week. We got into it about uh well we didn't get into it. We're good, we're good buds. Um, but we talked uh about the talked about Dilbert. Oh Dilbert, yes. Oh, so by the way, the... hold up before I go any further, before you say anything. So um I found out that the poll that he was citing, uh-huh, uh or referencing rather, the poll that he was referencing was a poll created by some white supremacist group. <laughs> right so now this dude has he didn't even take the time to vet where this this information came from before he goes out and starts spewing some nonsense and then you know there was more video i didn't i should have played more i didn't realize at the time but there's more where then he says he's like i moved away he's like i i don't want to live near any black people i live in an all-white neighborhood like he was really like pushing it where he was a neighborhood and everything and i was like okay. damn so let me say this after you saying that then mm-hmm. I will say that him referencing a a white supremacy poll or ideology or literature, right? Quoting something from that, it's not by mistake. Yeah. You know what I mean, like he follows these people. He follows that that ideology. So now I'm officially done. Right. Like at first I was thinking maybe he just made a mistake and he found something, even though his remarks were were, um, you know, 
just undesirable and unpleasant and go, okay, well, maybe the guy can learn something. But now that you say he's doubled down and he's like, yo, I've moved away and I don't want to be around these people, these people, and he's citing uh, like racist literature. It's like, yeah, it's a rap, dude. I hope they cancel his I, shit everywhere. So, Except America, Fox man. News, you know, they'll support that. We learn about <laughs> America a lot. So here's some uh, comments from that video I posted. Uh, I mean, should we replay? I guess we should, uh, just to be fair, so people could hear. Um, well, based on this poll, the fifty it says 50% of all Blacks uh, <laughs> don't like white people. I'm like, you can't get the people on any of the Blacks, but whatever. Right, that's what he uh, says. Yeah, no, here, here I'll play it right now. Here we go. This uh, guy. Let me find, uh, let me get the share on here. I'll share. And that's the definition of a hate group. Uh, and I was like, just to all the white people, get away from these, the black people. All right, you ready? Can you see them? I see them. Hate group. All right, here we go. The best advice I would give to white people is to get the hell away from black people. So get the hell away from okay so there it is all right whoops uh now um here's here's some of the uh here's some of the uh the comments that people live um well first off don ivan c i like this one he wrote dude you sound like norm mcdonald with a cold and i love it (laughs) there you go Nice. And another person said it too. He goes, uh, the white guy sounds just like Norm MacDonald. What the fuck? LOL. <laughs> All right. No comment about the video, but I love no, no, like those your two. Voice. Yeah. Like so voice. then, and now here we go, Reggie. Um, Christian says, racist how? <laughs> now, now this is what. And I, and I don't, you know, I, this is the only one I responded to because, you know, I need to let some people, because when I first opened it, people were going off with each other, right? So I only picked one lane to go in. Okay, and I was like, all right, I'll explain to dumbhead Christian here, racist how, and people are liking it. And I wrote, if you don't understand how saying one race should avoid another race is racist, you're either dim or racist. Figure out which it is and fix it. <laughs> okay. And then... Uh, his response is, yes, but he came with receipts of what apparently some study said African-Americans said about white people. And I responded, you believe some dumb right-wing poll that makes no sense? I guess the answer is dim. <laughs> <laughs> you relish these moments. I oh, swear so that's why, you know, that's why I play. So then, but dude, some other people, oh, someone else wrote Norm was reborn. <laughs> I'm loving these people. <laughs> Um, but yeah, then then of course you get the 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 one who who is you don't see there. It's user five nine zero three eight two six three one eight five zero eight. That's literally their name. Wow. And of course, you know they got to keep it uh, hidden. Uh, that's not a racist rant. That's the truth. And then four people like that. And then uh, how many people? Yeah, man. How many people? Can I get a source on the poll? I assume it's highly suspect. And then I see so many people say whitey, oh, like whitey, when referring to white people. So what? To, Who says so, whitey? No one says so whitey anymore. The what blacks is he stuck isn't in that 80s? bad in comparison. At least he said the whole word, bruh. Wait, so instead of saying the black, <laughs> what would he say if he didn't say the whole word? This guy, because you blocked Stone, wrote, the black guy getting emotional is exactly why I believe the Dilbert guy speech. <laughs> Jesus. Wow. The black and then guy. when people at came to me, you... gave me a guy. He called me, gave me a gender. But then, um, but then I like Lloyd. Lloyd kind of came to your defense. So I liked Lloyd's comment. Lloyd wrote, this guy used dehumanizing language and you'll agree with him. Also, I don't see anyone here getting emotional. Boom. And someone else said how, like, that's your own, like, voice. You're just talking. Yeah, exactly. And, it, and that's a thing, too. Like, let's say, let's say the black guy's being a whiny little baby. That's why. It's nothing wrong with it. It's his problem. He's being emotional about it. And it's yeah. like, what the fuck, dude? Face what the goddamn fact is. And hold up, though. At the beginning of the video, I go, no, I like Dilbert. I know. Right? I'm like, I'm like I like that little, I like that little cartoon. I enjoyed it. Yeah, right? so and, fucking idiots is what you learn when you go online, bro. 
Yeah, it's look, man, <laughs> everyone's got an opinion, right? And all these platforms are designed for every little every little person in every little corner of the world to be able to say, well, I think, mm, okay, yeah. that's fine. Like, right. look, you can speak on, for the most part, I'm like, yo, you can speak on whatever you want to speak on, but don't try to present your opinion as fact, right? If you haven't right. done research, if you haven't read, if you haven't right. studied, right? And you want to come in here and talk to me about anything that's real and you haven't done the work, the legwork, it's just an opinion. So whatever, you can have an opinion. Right, right, right. Um, okay, so then we'll go to the other video now, Reg. <laughs> All right, here we go. I feel like we're, now, turning, we're turning into the the, the TikTok hey, review podcast. <laughs> all, all controversy is good, right? <laughs> yeah, there's no such thing as bad press. Right? <laughs> no, I mean, oh, man, I mean, sometimes it's good. People, I think, enjoy sometimes hearing um, what's out there. So... Um, <laughs> Here we go. So Reggie and I went in on Gen Z um, a little bit. A little bit. I don't even think it was that bad. No fine motor skills. They can't spell. <laughs> right. They can't read right. cursive, can't write cursive. Right. Right. So uh, and this guy, Patrick Ward, 139, said, incredibly inaccurate, inarticulate, and unsupported dudes spouting nonsense. <laughs> so so basically what we said was true because <laughs> it, it affected him big time the funniest thing too at the very end you go i saw someone spell like the other day l-i-k i'm like how that's not that's pretty you know you anybody should know how to spell like okay you would hope you would hope okay now, now here's another thing you kind of screwed up on with the younger generation here though which gave them fodder or okay. fuel whatever you want to call it was the cursive thing because cursive is kind of obsolete now and you some people make a reference on it but but they well you know i don't know they it's i don't know. i mean look yes cursive being able to write in cursive is not necessarily a uh, mandatory must-have thing right yeah but it is nice <laughs> it is nice and it's and nice it's, to know how to read it it's nice to know and it's and being able to know how to read it it's it's still english right it's not like i'm asking them to learn a different language it ain't sanskrit <laughs> yeah exactly it's like yo so yeah i get it i get it it's, it's I you know they're not teaching it in schools anymore although my son at the school my son goes to that's all they write in is cursive so oh, he's still wow. alive in some corners of the world now he goes to private school and that can be a whole conversation about a about yeah, access, yeah, yeah. right? Access and whatever else. So, so there will become a point where they will use cursive as a way of like um, dividing people. Oh, you you can write cursive and read cursive. Oh, you must you must have went to private school. You must be rich, right? Oh, you fancy. Like, yeah. I also play the piano <laughs> and the violin. And I speak Spanish and Mandarin. <laughs> And they go, oh, <laughs> look at you. You're so special. Like, yes, I am. <laughs> uh, Jalen Alexander said, I'm a part of the older Gen Z that learned cursive. I'm 25 and still never need it. Learn how to sign my name and that's it. All right. All right. You never write a uh, letter? You never write a letter <laughs> to anyone? <laughs> well, I print. I don't blame. I print on myself. Troy Fritz Thank said, you. my Gen Z son is extremely smart, but his grammar is unlike anything I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> i like that guy that was good yeah this guy they stop cursive because they don't want them to know what our founding documents say <laughs> that's hilarious that's someone awesome. else gen x are here cursive is irrelevant fine motor skills gen z will smoke you <laughs> yeah really smoke me in the sense of like bang bang because that's all they do <laughs> Right. <laughs> where are they getting this info all right but now but this is the thing right so <clears throat> first time ever somebody uh they uh they mentioned us so in oh, uh, they tagged us in a thing yeah so right? they did they responded in video form <laughs> shut up oh, shitting on us in video form and you know what i liked it because okay. um yeah, like, thanks for the fun. effort. Yeah, dude. Like, I, yeah, man. I respect like, that. Thank you for taking the time <laughs> to shit on us. Yeah, I disagree with you, but I really appreciated that. 
You so, did it. Uh, you did it. You <laughs> took the time out of your day because we impacted you so much. You was like, yo, I can't just type this shit. I need to set up a camera and lighting and come up with a script. And then I need to let these motherfuckers know. Okay, so, right, so right. you're play oh man, video? he's doing he's getting a lot of uh he's gets a lot of uh comments on his little thing. All right, let's see. Okay. I mean, this is a thing too. He only plays my first five seconds of the video. Oh, All so right. he's so he's manipulating the message. <laughs> All right, he's, how he's do obviously we... a, a a marketer? He's in marketing and <laughs> And marketing, he's got a degree in marketing and manipulation. Is this what TikTok looks like? Yeah, on on, on the computer. It's weird on the computer. I don't like okay. it on the computer, but here we go. TikTok. Okay. But this honestly, I mean, the grammar is horrible. Okay, I'm an elder millennial. I work in education. <laughs> this is so tiring. <laughs> I'm so sick and tired of people my age and older shitting on the younger generation i spent my whole life being shit on by boomers gen xers all oh, participation trophies blah 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 like you didn't give them to us and now here we are gen xers and older millennials are starting to just shit on gen z and gen alpha for not knowing how to do things it's like well you aren't teaching them you haven't done it you did this okay stop acting like children are responsible for not knowing what they haven't been taught it's seriously getting old like don't be a boomer <laughs> don't be a boomer reg <laughs> Man, i was about to i was about to be me i was about to be oh, you were going on man. his teeth <laughs> I was about to be mean, but you know what? Once again, not everybody has the has the means or the resources, right? And so I. Can't, hey, I, I can't liked how he he had a very he was, uh, eloquent, uh, elo he was very eloquent, eloquent. Response. He was eloquent, and he was uh, he was clear. He obviously had a point of view. He had some feelings about it. He didn't go over the top. So yeah, I, I appreciate his response. I do. I appreciate now, his but but that was my point when you said like though. I'm like, but anyone should know how to spell the word like. I don't care if you're getting educated or not, and you don't have the means. You should know how to spell the word like. You got yeah. the means enough to get on fucking TikTok. Well, and he has a point too. I give him credit because he does have a point. He's like, I'm just sick of people being upset with children not knowing things that they weren't taught, right? And I get that. I do get that. Right? Manners. Manners yeah. have been lost. I don't know where they went. I mean, I still teach my son manners, right? To mm -hmm. be respectful. Thank you. No, thank you. Yes, ma'am. No, ma'am. You know, well, he doesn't say that stuff, but you know, that's still me. I still say that stuff, but um, yeah, you know, it's like, and being considerate and polite, but I look, I encounter people every day. I can be in conversation with someone and someone will come up and just ask me a question while I'm in mid sentence talking to someone else. And I'm like, whatever happened to excuse me sorry to interrupt you guys hey sorry to bother you guys can i ask a quick question right like where is that that doesn't exist anymore it's right, you and i right. having a conversation and come out somebody coming in and be like hey where are the eggs <laughs> don't you see I'm, I'm doing a podcast right now like i'm talking to a guy <laughs> oh okay but where the eggs <laughs> like they still don't get it so uh i get that part so it is it is on the on the parents on a lot of levels to, to teach the kids, but a lot of parents, we, we live in a society where both parents have to work. And so they're being raised by, you know, by teachers and coaches and after school programs. And, and if you got the people who, uh, who came out of a certain generation who didn't learn something, then uh -huh. they just doing what they know. And a lot of times they don't know shit. So right. they ain't teaching nobody nothing. Right. Right. So, right. Right. Or they aren't teaching anyone anything, double negatives. They ain't teaching nobody nothing. <laughs> yeah, what, I like that one Super comment negative. that guy said about they, us. <laughs> they ain't treat, teaching nobody nothing. <laughs> they don't know. So, all right, but I appreciate his response. Thank you, whoever that guy was. That's a, you know, it, I, I can handle that type of. Dude spouting nonsense. That's, there's a name for a podcast. <laughs> yeah, really. I can I can I can appreciate that type of response, right? Like that. Right, approach. that's what I thought too. That's why I liked it, you know. Yeah, yeah. But uh, but still, learn how to spell the word like. 
<laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I also, Learn how yeah. to make a sentence if you're going to leave comments. Yeah. Proofread. He was a hard. handsome dude, though, man. Had his little hair going, <laughs> had his beard. I was like, I just wanted to trim his beard. You know, you see how I try to keep my shit tight. I'm like, I'm going to trim his yeah, beard. Yeah, it was a little, a little scraggly. Yeah, it was yeah. A, little, a little scraggly. Yeah. And he's like, I'm a teacher. And, you know, I'm just sick and tired. And, you know, I respect that. I got to respect all teachers. Oh, yeah, so. all teachers get mad, mad respect and love. Well, so, yeah, hey, if a invested. teacher's shitting on me, I'm going to like it. <laughs> yes. All teachers get respect as long as they are serious about their craft, right? Like Right, right. And that, yeah, and he cares enough to do that. I, I, Good for yeah. you, man. I appreciate yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, it was funny. It's, it's funny. As I get older, the less, less I give a shit. It I makes mean, me want to make a video like that. I want to respond to him in like. And oh, like. yeah, dude. Yeah, so, oh, man. We gotta figure out. Okay, you want to do that? We, you do it right now, and then I'll. No, I already, uh, I'll, I've already responded. I've already responded. We already said that he he was eloquent and he maintained his composure. Okay, so if you want, I'll points. I'll cut that together and then I'll reply with it. And just leave out the part about going in. You can't. We don't want to insult the guy, right? Okay. Yeah. yeah. Be like, just don't listen to the whole episode, buddy. <laughs> You don't want to because it's not because obviously it's not it's not important right it's not important it's not something that he's concerned about um you know so it's and and like i said not everybody has the means right and yo man my teeth be fucked up i never had the means i have a whole bit about it uh um, like, so what'd you say he's saying two front teeth coming through uh, yeah yeah you're like my teeth they're like teeth bullies moving the other teeth out of the way like move teeth coming through yeah move teeth coming through you know what that's about I, I love about that. The I wish more people would love it more, but you know. that's about the palate, bro. Like not having enough space in the palate for the, the adult teeth to come in after the baby teeth. Um, mm -hmm. All right, so here I'll play uh, before we go, Reggie. I guess we could be going soon. How about that? I'll uh, play this little clip from uh, the punchline that I did this week. It's just fun. I I love. It's just fun when you could get like a half hour, twenty five minutes, whatever. And you could play, you could go in between, you know what I mean? All right, this is, I've been having fun with this joke this week. Okay. I caught COVID, you guys. I did catch it um, this morning. How y'all doing? No. <laughs> I did catch COVID this morning. How y'all doing? <laughs> Are you on stage? You it's a fun right. one, dude. It's a fun one. But, yeah. uh, all right, Reg, we'll close this out before your internet crashes again. Yeah, I don't know what happened. Sorry about that, folks. My, I was so we got to get that sudden. fixed and get us uh, one way I'm going to guess, Reg. 13, 14, 13 episodes left to Mahershala. <laughs> <laughs> the big countdown. The big <laughs> countdown. Well, you know, I'm going to um, I'm going to Atlanta in May. They're going oh, to start yeah, filming weekend? late May. So I think I'm going to go probably maybe a week before, week or two weeks before. And uh, so I'll be I'll be in the ATL with with my dude kicking it for a bit That'd um, be before cool, they man. start the whole before they get into it. Mm -hmm. I might be hopefully I can get on set. I'm, I'm going to see if we can go to the set. I'd love to just get down in and see. Yeah, we should totally know, do a podcast from it, dude. Hit me up. When, when, when are we going? <laughs> when are we going i don't know man i have to see we got recording you know dates. it'd be dope all right well uh wrap us up i got some okay. editing to do now <laughs> yeah seriously all right folks um i want to thank you so much for uh joining us we hope you enjoyed it we love it we're gonna keep doing it so i hope you keep coming out if you uh if you like it please like share and subscribe um and thanks Sal for Kalani. your respectful comments. As for your racist comments, go fuck yourselves. <laughs> that's all him. But that's Sal Kalani. I'm Reggie Steele. And this is Spitballer. Peace.